Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to be Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be checking out a few more entries for our World War II Amphibious Vehicle Challenge. Now, what we did last time was we parked them all up right here. We ended up driving them out along this road and then down this side. And then as soon as we passed by the trees, we plowed them into the water, made sure they could actually uh, be amphibious. And then we pulled them back out of the water and left them on the beach. So... Each one of these is going to get tested the exact same way that the previous ones got tested. And hopefully all of these things pass. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so some of these don't actually have brakes. So that one right there is actually moving. And um, that one right there, I believe, was moving earlier. But I'm not entirely sure what it's doing now. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into this one real quick. This thing is called the CCM R slash AM Rampage AE CC Basic. There's a, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. The name is um, a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and get inside and uh, we'll get this thing moving, hopefully. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, circuit breaker will turn that on. I can barely see a thing. Okay, I definitely can't see anything. On, off. All right, let's lift this up so we can actually see. And presumably we can go... Oh, we can move. All right, nice. We gotta, like, j dodge this thing, because it's it's moving. <laughs> uh, and we're just gonna go past it. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got the turning on it. It's a bit interesting. But um, we're going. Nice. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a little hatch right here that we can see out of. It looks like it might be made of... Um, it is. It's made of uh, control surfaces, which is really strange, but I guess it works. That's kind of cool. So, if we want to close that, we just go ahead and press 2, and it closes it. And then we can open it, close it, open it, close it. Awesome. Oh, God. Oh, God. Break. Oh, God. Break. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. I need to make sure that this thing actually makes it to the beach. All right, here we go. So, um, yeah, there is actually a big description for this one. Uh, essentially, it worked really well at uh, everything, apparently. So, hopefully... Oh, God. I'm drifting it again. I'm drifting it. <laughs> um, hopefully, it actually does good here and um, succeeds. Yeah, it's got our propeller. Wait, it's got, like three propellers. Why has it got three? Oh god, it's gonna tip over. Oh, I- oh. Oh. Oh god, it's gonna- oh, Jesus. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, um, a bit fast. That's all. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the water. Very nice. Press three. Okay. And off we go. It boats. We be boating. Nice. Okay, so yeah, it actually works as a boat as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we've obviously got the gun on the top. I didn't realize that was a gun to begin with, but that's what that is. Uh, we've got a hatch on the side. In fact, we've got a hatch on both sides. And a hatch on the roof as well. So I'm going to get out of the water, and we're going to see what is inside of each of these hatches. Because I don't know. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right, we're back on the beach. Very nice. Uh, and yeah, this thing is actually super fast. So um, let's go ahead and put the parking brake on. There we go. The lights come on for the parking brake. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. What's in there? Oh, we got like a bunch of rope and uh, some hoses. All right, cool. We've actually got a way through here too. If I can get through there. We've got some cables and some hoses. Very nice. That's actually super cool. All right, go ahead and close this up. There we go. Go ahead and close that thing up as well. And we'll jump out the top if we can. There we go. Nicely done. Does the turret actually move? I wonder. I don't know. Let's have a little look inside. Here we go. Does the turret move? Yes, it does. It's inverted, but yeah, it works. <gasps> and it actually aims up as well and down. That's amazing. I like it. Okay, so we're going to leave this one here. Let's go and get the next one. If I didn't actually say already, that one was actually built by Owl Team 2005. So uh, if you guys want to use that, it'll be linked down below anyway. So don't worry about it. Okay, so the next one we are using is this. It is a Sherman A4D4DD. Um, and obviously it is floaty. It will float, hopefully. Um, this was built by someone called Woot00, zero zero, Woot00135, oh oh, Wooto135. Uh, we need to figure out how to get inside of this thing. So we're going to grab this handle and we're going to float up to the top. We're going to press this button and hopefully get inside. And then we can go ahead and close it like this and hopefully get going. So start is going to go on. All right, nice. I love that these are all automatic as well. That's actually very cool. Uh, we're going to get this big boy going. All right. It is driving like a tank, which is amazing, because that's what it is. Okay, so this is our forward sight right here. It's actually a camera, which is literally right there. Um, and we should be able to use it to drive down the road, which is pretty amazing. That's our speed. 
Turning in this thing is is not amazing. The turning is not very good. And the speed is not, not very good either, to be fair. But it's okay. It's okay, as long as it works. Also, you got the shape quite right, which is um, very cool too. It looks like a Sherman, which is awesome. Okay, as soon as we straighten this thing out, we're going to go ahead and floor it, and hopefully we can gain enough speed. I don't know how fast we're going to be able to go, but let's go as fast as we can, and hopefully this will be good. So, press 4. What does that do? Oh, we got spotlights. Look at that. Amazing. All right, turn that off. How fast are we going? 15 miles an hour. Nice. It's really slow. So, I kind of feel like this one might have a few issues with actually floating, but, um, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's fine. I'm not sure. I actually really kind of like this tank. Um, on the outside, it does look like a Sherman, which is awesome. That is actually super cool. I would say it's, like, a tiny bit boxy. Maybe it could be made a tiny bit better, but, um, honestly, this looks really good. This looks really, really good. Um, I like it. I'm just not sure how it's gonna float, so let's get it into the water. Uh, our speed at max was like 15, and let's see how fast it goes in the water, because it might go faster, which will be interesting. Okay, we're getting pretty close now. Let's go ahead and press 3 once we are touching the water, I guess, or once the propellers are in the water, and then we'll see what happens. Here we go. Are we even going to float? It really feels like it won't. Oh, it is. It's totally floating. And off we go. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so it does go out to sea. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Um, is there any water on the inside? Yes, there is, because this isn't actually a sealed compartment at all, but that's okay because it still floats, which is really nice. That is really, really nice. We do have some spare parts on the side as well. We've got some rope. We've got a, um, a welder. We've also got what looks like a other welder, like a underwater welder on this side, and we've also got another rope on this side as well. We've got a rope on the back of the turret. And uh, we got a machine gun right there. It'll shoot itself. And we've got our turret with a machine gun as well. Um, let's see what the gunner can do on this thing. We'll get out and we'll park next to the other one. Uh, we'll put our brakes on and we'll see how that does. Okay, there we go. We've turned on the, uh, the tracks again and we are moving, which is pretty awesome. Um, is there a gunner seat? I don't know. I don't know if there is a gunner seat. Well, we'll go ahead and park next to this thing, and hopefully it'll end up being pretty good. All right, here we go. Here we go. We are pretty close. Uh, let's just line ourselves up. Press 2. There we go. Brakes. And have a little walk around. So, if we sit back here on the gunner's seat, we can do the elevation. That's pretty epic. We can also do a spotlight rotation and a spotlight. And we can rotate the gun as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Can we fire it? Oh, the firing is just the piston coming back. Look at this. Phew! Nice. That is actually super, super cool. All right. What is this as well? We got a... Um, oh, we got a radio back here too. That is actually awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get back outside and uh, get going. All right, so next up, we've got this thing built by Waylith. This is actually called the Amphibious World War II 4x4 Vehicle, my submission for Frantic's Build Challenge. So let's go ahead and get inside and uh, see if we can get this thing moving. Uh, we have a water clutch right there. It's sticky. Okay, awesome. Um, how do we turn the engine on? The key. All right, there we go. And do you have to turn the brake off in order to go? Where's the brake? Uh, are we... Is the brake off? I guess the brake is off. Alright, off we go. Nice. Why isn't the engine starting? I'm a little bit confused. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So, it has a little bit of an issue with the engines. Uh, but once you do the engines again, it is completely fine. I think this thing looks really cool. It looks a bit bigger than I guess it would. But uh, that's just the Stormworks thing, I guess. Um, but you know what? Overall, pretty nice. Okay, let's get it on the road and open up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Our speed is in kilometers an hour instead of miles an hour. This is weird. Off we go. Okay, so we got headlights. We got rear lights, which are just red and white, I guess. And we're going. Nice. Okay, yeah. So the driving part of this vehicle is actually pretty awesome. It does work. Let's go ahead and turn around this corner. It doesn't seem to want to, like, skid out or anything, which is pretty awesome, because most of them do. Most of them want to just, I don't know, yeet themselves sideways. But this one seems to be actually uh, completely fine. Oh, we did a bit of a jump there, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and plow ourselves into the water. And as soon as we are in the water, whoop, let's go ahead and do this. Yep. And we should start moving. Yeah, all right, cool. It actually floats. Perfect. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Get it back onto the beach and uh, pack it next to the other two. 
I swear, if one of these vehicles uh, at some point actually just manages to drive into the water and then not do anything, just sit there in the water, that'd be so funny. That'd be really, really funny. In terms of, like, sinking, um, that'd be amazing. But um, I don't think we got any like that, hopefully. Okay, now we're at the water. Let's go ahead and put that to zero. Okay, very awesome. Let's go ahead and pack up next to these dudes, because we can. And our brakes are on. Our brakes aren't on. What's the brake on? I think the brake might be automatic. It might be automagic. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and stop right here. There we go. Very nice. And get out of the vehicle. Nice. We got lots of seats in here, too. We got two in the driver's side, uh, three in the middle, and then one at the back, which controls a gun. Yeah. Which shoots one flare. Amazing. All right, so that was actually pretty cool, but now we've got another thing. This is the Duck W, the Duck W, the Duck W, um, and actually it looks amazing. Look at the side piece on this thing. That's awesome. If we go upstairs and we jump inside, uh, we have ourselves some troop transport stuff as well, and we've also got loads of rope, which is kind of interesting. Um, also, this was built by Shotgun Seth, um, who is taking part in the challenge too, which is awesome. It does have a parking brake. It's just not applied automatically. Which is fine, I suppose. Anyway, throttle up is up and down. No, it's not. Wait, what? What do you mean? What? Oh, do I need to put the key on? Here we go. All right, throttle up. And then... And then go. Okay. Turn the key off. Oh, God. Okay, right. Interesting. Here we go. So the throttles are full. We're just going to go ahead and turn ourselves around. This might be, like, the biggest vehicle we've got for the challenge. It's huge. It's actually ginormous. Anyway, uh, we need to make sure we don't tip over, so let's go around here. Let's drift around this corner. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure we don't crash. That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Oh, we've just stalled. Hold on. Oh, here we go. This might actually be the fastest vehicle for the challenge, too. Look at it. <laughs> oh, God, it's so fast. Oh, God, it's really fast. Brake. Brake. Oh, God, brake. Jesus. Okay, right, cool. we're good. We're good. We are good. Alright, I stall it out whenever I turn and go forwards. So make sure not to turn and go forwards if you use this thing. But here we go. Oh, it's so fast. Alright, let's go ahead and get in the water. And see if it works in the water. Oh, God, look at it. We're getting air. We are getting so much air. Splash down. Awesome. And then what? What do I do now? Water mode. Way! Woohoo! Off we go! Nice! You know what? It actually works. Let's uh, get out and get in the gunner's seat. Oh, it's just a passenger seat. There's a gun above us, though. <laughs> That's an interesting looking design. But it works, I suppose. It looks amazing. It actually looks really good. Good job. Also, it totally works. All of these so far have actually worked. The first one, the second one, the third one, and this one have all worked. So there's no, no pressure on the last one then, eh? No pressure on the last one. All right, here we go. Get on and do this. There we go. Water mode is off. We need to park up next to this thing. Put the parking brake up. We missed by a little bit. Okay. Put the reverse gear on. Okay, go backwards. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, awesome. Go ahead and put that back on. And um, we can turn it off if we need to, which I'm going to do. Just so it's a little bit less laggy. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's awesome. Okay, so last but not least, we have the RM02 Terrapin. Also, we just need to grab 10,000 from the ground because there's just 10 grand in a box there. Um, and this is it right here. So it looks kind of interesting. You actually drive it from like the back, which is very strange. But um, yeah, we got a starter right here. Get ourselves a handbrake and we got unlock, which I guess allows us to start, which is interesting. All right, let's go ahead and slam it in reverse. Turn ourselves around. We're going to do the exact same thing. And uh, we're going to ram it into the water. So I'm sure this will be fine. Here we go. Go ahead and start going forwards now. Yeah. Oh, this thing looks cool. It does. It actually looks very interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and follow the road and uh, get this thing into the water. Oh, it also has headlights and also backlights too. That's pretty cool. All right. Go ahead and go around this corner. There we go. Very nice. And keep it going. Oh, this is awesome. I actually really like that some of you guys have gone for wheels and some of you guys have gone for tracks. I love that, like, it's different, because uh, that's actually super, super cool. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and drift this thing around here. All right, cool. We didn't actually drift it, but close. Uh, we're going to ram it into the water, and uh, we'll see how it does in water mode, because I'm sure it'll do fine. It looks like it will. 
Also, our speed is like 50 miles an hour. That's fast. That is very fast. Cool. All right, in the water we go. Okay, turn the propulsion system on. And off we go. Yeah, every single one of these creations today has actually worked out fine. They've actually all worked out really, really well. That's super cool. Alright, so there is one instruction for this. There is one instruction for this. And that is that we need to carry some sort of propulsion. Sorry, we need to carry some sort of momentum in order to get out of the water. Um, and our momentum is going to come from the propeller. So, here we go. There we go. And switch over. And, yeah. I thought that was... That worked out way better than I thought it was going to. Amazing. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and park this in the center. Do, 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 do. It does actually have a handbrake too. So, let's go ahead and put that on. And that is awesome. There we go. Nice. Yeah. All of these today actually worked out really well. So, um, yeah, that is actually super cool. Thank you, everyone, for actually uh, actually submitting these. Uh, it is very nice of you guys to actually take part in one of my challenges, especially with something like this, because I don't know whether it was, like, I don't know whether it was a fun challenge or not. I'm not sure. But um, you guys have done it. So thank you very much for actually taking part. And, um, yeah, really good job. Really, really good job. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. All of these guys will be linked down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.